Via File Open Open Virtual Project, you can open the project file ws1.vip, which is required for this tutorial. You can find this in the program folder under Audio, Tutorial, Video, Editing, Arranging, ws1.vip. Press the play button and listen to the output material as a loop. To do so, press the loop button in the transport control and highlight the grid marker bar by double-clicking between marker 1 and 2. Playback can also be started using the space bar. As you can hear, the bass only plays for two bars. Activate the bass object by clicking on the lower half of the Funky 1 object. Its color changes to orange. Now copy the object with Object, Cut Objects, Duplicate and Move. The same happens with the shortcut keys Control d A third way to duplicate objects is via drag and drop while holding down the Control key. Now your bass should play until the end of the eighth beat. The next thing to do is to duplicate both of the first bars. To do this, draw out a new range to the start of the third beat in the grid and marker bar. Here the grid and snap function should be switched on in the project options. And the beat grid and bar beats should be selected. Bars and beats should also be selected in the transport window beside the play position display. Now double-click in the selected area. The first double-click selects the range in the corresponding track. By double-clicking again, all tracks in this range will be highlighted with a dark colour. With Edit Copy, you can copy the selected objects to the clipboard and then, with Edit More Insert from Clips with Ripple, you can add it in to the right of it. Now move marker 1 using your mouse to the beginning of the project. Now apply the newly activated objects Studio B, Funky 1 and General 1 to between Beat 5 and Beat 7 using the Edit Copy function. Insert the three copied objects like before with Edit, More, Insert from Clips with Ripple and then drag Marker 2 to the beginning of Beat 13. If you now double-click in between Marker 1 and Marker 2 on the grid and Marker bar, while simultaneously clicking on the Loop button in the Transport control, you can listen to your new arrangement by pressing the Space bar in the Loop mode. To make the intro sound a bit more interesting, you'll want to introduce the bass later on. To do so, mute the first bass object with Control m Now click on the object beside it. For the following editing function, increase the display size of the activated object. You can quickly and easily zoom in by left-clicking on the grid marker bar at the position of the current object, holding down the mouse button and dragging it down vertically. This way, you can work very precisely in the wave display. If, before letting go, you press the control key, you will return to the original zoom level. For now, move the cursor to the position 0040300. At this position in the bass track, you can split the object with the shortcut key T. Once you zoom out of the display, do so by dragging the horizontal scroll bar to the right you will be able to see that there are now two separate objects. Mute the longer of the two with the Objects Mute Objects command. The remaining bass part ends the intro. You can add a fade in by dragging the top left handle of the bass object to the right. At the beginning of the chorus, create a copy of the wah guitar by dragging the mouse while holding down the control button. 
Let this ring out straight after starting playback. To do so, drag the object handle, a rectangular symbol at the top right of the object, to the left towards the beginning of the object. This way, you can edit the fade-out phase of an object. Soften the introduction of each of the two WAR objects in the intro using a fade-in. Now you can set new markers. First of all, you will have to delete the old markers by clicking on the Marker button above the Track Info column and selecting Delete All Markers. Then move the Play cursor to the beginning of the arrangement by pressing the Home key on your keyboard. Now click on the Marker button once again and find the Save Marker Marker with Name. Name the marker Intro at the beginning of the song and do the same for the marker you wish to create at the beginning of the first verse at the song position 005, 01, 000 to give it the name First Verse. To ease the intro into the verse a bit more smoothly, insert an additional bass part and add it onto its own track. To do so, click on the available bass track, then right-click on the track info box below the plus symbol and select Insert Delete Tracks, Insert Empty Track from the context menu. In the newly created track, open the track info dialog by clicking on the S3 field. In the lowest line, enter the name of the track as Base 2 and confirm this by pressing the OK button. Now move the play cursor to the bar position 003, 01, 000 and open the audio import dialog via File, Load Import, Load Audio File. In the Audio Tutorial Video Edit Arrange folder, click on the Work One Wave file. After confirming this dialog, you will see the imported object in your new track at the position of the cursor. Now create a fade in for the inserted object as previously explained and listen to the result.